Hi baby. Are you on your way home? Yeah, I only go back an hour ago. I was at the consulate all day trying to get the visa approval. Fucking bureaucracy. No, no one help me no one want to help me. They were all in a bad mood. Like it's so hard to tell people what forms to fill and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't stand it. Yeah, society. Every time you move a muscle, you have to show a photocopy of your birth certificate or something. It's like, yeah, so, waste of time. Yeah, no, anyway, I'm watching a movie right now to wind down. Yeah, yeah, alright, alright. Alright, see you soon. Ciao, 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 ciao. Where do you think you're going? Uh, I'm going towards the light. It's, isn't that what one's supposed to do in this kind of situation? Not yet. Not until you've been processed. I'm going to need to see a photocopy of a birth certificate and two forms of ID, please. A birth certificate? I... If I am dead, I suppose I was born at some point. You can never be too careful. Now, would you please produce the required documentation? I have about a million more clients today and we're only open till noon. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't have this documentation. <sighs> Why is no one ever prepared when they come here? They all think they can just skip off into the light like it's some kind of fairy tale. Well, there are those that are prepared, but when they get here, they change their minds. It's a real nightmare for me, and the pay is absolutely uh, shh. Excuse me? What? God. Uh, I mean, ma'am. Uh, may I ask you how I died? I'm sorry, but that information is classified. Classified? But I don't want to even be here. And you think I do? But, uh, but they have a life. Well, sorry sir, but that's a one-way door, so we can either get through this and you can be on your way, or you can wait here and we'll try again tomorrow. Mm. Now, about this life you so tragically left behind, please define it for me in 25 words or less, please. Uh, well, um, wait a second. Uh, let me think. I, I guess my life was kind of, uh, um, well, there were some good times and... Uh, That's 25 words, sir. <sighs> Let the record show that Mr. Sidney Rome's life consisted of some good times. Uh, I guess I wasn't really making the most of it. Now, before we go any further, I'm required to inform you of your right to send one message back. A message? Yes, any last words for loved ones. Well, I would like to say to my girlfriend that I love her. Original. Alright, with a message like that, by the time we get it back from the stratosphere, your I love you baby will become a convenient parking space on a busy Monday morning for your little slice of sunshine. Well, I send back an I love you and she says like a parking space, that's actually not bad. We're here to help. Now, you will need to complete a multiple choice test from which the results will be used to determine the height of your voltage. My voltage? Yes, I can assure you that that light doesn't shine that brightly for everyone. Now, while the questions will change, the answers will remain the same. So, A indicates 0 to 25, B 26 to 50, C 51 to 75, and D 76 to 100. 
Well, okay. All right. Crimes committed. A, B, C, or D? Well, when I was like nine years old, I once stole a pencil from a, a stationery shop, but... Was that color or lead? <laughs> I think it was blue, but... Cerulean or navy? Maybe like navy, but... Interesting. <laughs> Okay, next question. Uh, how many times did you stand up for a lady on a bus? I will look a B on that one. Cold and sick when you actually had a hangover or simply didn't feel like going into work? Uh, maybe a B on that one too. Farted and not taken the blame? <laughs> taken a selfie. A proud A on that one. Dollars donated to charity? Um, Watch Titanic. Re gifted a Christmas present. Flushed the toilet while a loved one was taking a shower. Turned your underwear inside out instead of doing a wash load. Pretended you couldn't speak English to a kind social commuter. Eaten a cookie before dinner. Blame the absence of your homework on the appetite of your dog. Stuck gum under the desk. Read the Bible. I watched Noah once. You know, Aronofsky. Russell Crowe. Hermione? Sir, that film received only 5.9 stars on IMDb. Well, but it was some nominee for a Golden Globe. Enough! <laughs> Mr. Rhymes, please state the name of a place that you always wished you'd visited, but let arbitrary excuses like an unfulfilling job, no affordable airline at the last minute, or straightforward laziness get in the way of a life-changing adventure. Well, I always want to visit the Great Wall of China. That's a shame. All right, sir, would you please sign here and here. Now, just over here and again here, please sign here and one last time here. And again here. What about the last time? All right, now please follow me over here for an ID photo. Please stand here. No smiling. <sighs> All right, here you go. That really makes me sad. Hang on. There appears to be some kind of mistake. Ugh, no what? Just a second, sir. Ever heard of patience? Well, I guess I have a whole of eternity ahead of me. It appears that that might not be the case. Wait, what? Just a second, okay. sir. <sighs> Hello, yes, I have uh, Mr. Sidney Rhymes here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't. Uh, spoiler alert. Was that last night's episode? Huh. Uh, I don't know, probably the same thing I did last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> hmm. Between the two, I'd probably go for strapless. But with heels. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right, thank, thank you. So? Mr. Rams, it appears, uh, how should I put this? It's not your time yet. That means that I still have a life? In the literal sense, yes. Ah. Now I'm going to need you to sign here. With pleasure. Wait, this pen doesn't have any ink. What pen? What pen? This pen. <sighs> What? Peroni?